And then like it gets like super loud right. all of a sudden. You're like, why is it so loud in here? I was, it was just, I was just peacefully looking at my laundry to turn, and now it's like loud. It's like turn it down. Like what? Hello everyone. My name is Hannah. And I'm Carolyn. And welcome back to Close Knit with Carolyn and Hannah. <laughs> Yay, Ooh. we got that down. Give me some. Yeah. <laughs> we started the episode without failing. Yes. Number four. Number four. Lucky number four, right? <laughs> We're kind of in a mood. So this is going to be interesting. It's, it's a different time from when we typically film this. Yeah. It, it's like nighttime. Yeah. I'm already tired from the day. I've had a day already, so. Yeah. And I, too, I worked a 10-hour day. Oh. Yeah, Just but it's... In hours. My job isn't really like work, though. No. Owning a boutique is so much fun. Today was just a really fun day, too, so... Good. It's more for me again. It's it's just socializing. Oh sure. <laughs> I mean, of course, you got to do all that business, business. stuff. Yeah. Numbers. Who cares about that? Yeah, numbers and taxes and insurance. No, you, when you own a boutique, you just gotta look cute and talk to people, right? <laughs> that's all it takes. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there's a little bit more involved, but um, mostly it's just about. I think just being happy and yeah waking up every day and putting on a cute outfit kind of like school was yeah. for me okay. anyway this isn't what we were going to talk about do you want me to kind of sure go okay. for it okay so we obviously you can see and we will get to this what we have on yeah don't be jealous okay because you guys can get these too yeah um we're going to talk about our we kind of recap a little bit and then um we're doing a thing called Would You Rather. It's like a little game. Yes. You're going to put your Would foot you up? Rather. Yeah, I thought I'd just show that this is a hoodie. Hoodie. She's got yeah. on the dune. It's got the sandworm. Okay, so yes, all dune, trees, you guys. Is all the way here. Yes. We're still talking about dune part two. This is my t-shirt. Hannah helped order this for me from Etsy. Etsy is the go-to. Yeah, so I've got Paul at Atreides. Yeah. I should really know that name. It's going to be my last name. Someday. It's also on the t-shirt, so. <laughs> Not is. the fact that you just said that it's going to be your last name someday. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> okay, okay. First, I have to clarify something. I'm glad I remembered this. That's It's unusual for someone my age to remember. Okay, so in the last episode... I said, oh, um, speaking of Zendaya and, and um, Timothy Chalamet and mm -hmm. Austin Butler, I said they could be my grandchildren. No. No, they could be your children. They could be my children. Yeah. They're, yes, because I have a child who's 31. Is yes. he 31? Yeah. Miles is 31. And you're going to be 25. He, yes. Is he going to be 32? Yes. Holy cow. I really? Know, right? Okay. So, yeah. So they could be my children that yeah. doesn't make it any better i know yeah. but then i was thinking about something it's kind of the double standard because especially in hollywood all of those men who are my age 57 are dating like 20 something right what's up with that yeah and it's okay nobody thinks anything of right. it but i think we're starting to get a little better i mean yeah we're called cougars women are if we date Somebody younger. You're called anything if you're a woman and you do anything this on this true. planet. This so. is true. This is true. Just live your life at that yes. point. And ca yeah. So just go to the speech in Barbie. Yeah. That the mother makes. I yes. forget what her name is in the movie. Ameri America. America. Ferreira? Yes. yes. Her little speech, which yeah. was amazing. Just go refer to that. Yeah. Because that'll explain it all. But Section anyway. A Barbie movie. Yes. America Ferrera <laughs> yeah. quote. Yeah. Where she talks to everyone. That's what we're referring to with everything in life at with this point. Women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. So back to our shirts. We we are official now. We're like, what, three times we saw it now? Three times. I almost saw it for a fourth time. You didn't without me? Without you. But you didn't want to go to IMAX. I was no, going to go to IMAX. I can't do the IMAX. I you think, get dizzy. I think I'll puke. Yeah. I didn't have enough time, but I almost went to the I would go again. Okay, but I need to explain what's happening here. We went to Dune Part 2 again, so that was the third time. So the first time we went on a Saturday. Yeah. The second time we went on Tuesday. Yeah. 
And then the third time we went on Sunday. Yeah. And we went like at the 11 o'clock thinking, okay, no one's going to be there. It'll be all clean. We go up to get the popcorn. Well, she does because I don't like popcorn. We go up to get the popcorn and the guy says what? What did he say? He was like, weren't you here yesterday? (laughs) Totally. He's like, okay, maybe not yesterday, but. He's like, weren't you guys guys here yesterday? And I'm like, um, And he was like, you're not rewards members? (laughs) I was like. No, guys. He's like, well, by this time you should have been. I know, right? At this yeah, point. we should. We should. So yeah, three times, and then in that period of time, so what? About a week and a half ish. Three times, we went back and we watched Dune One, mm-hmm. and I ended up watching Little Women. Little Women. Timmy Sh- oh, Timothy Chalamet. Refer to that movie as well if you want to oh sob. God. Yeah. Well, no, if you just want to dream, he oh was so gosh. cute in that movie. And then watch Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka was pretty good. I loved it because I love his voice is amazing. The movie is great. I've loved Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the original with Gene Wilder. And then I love Johnny Depp's version. And now I love Timothy Chalamet. So that Mm -hmm. one's really good. What is that on right now that you can watch? Max, I want to say. Is it? Yeah. Well, I can never figure out those smart TVs. They're too smart for me. And I get really frustrated. So we're just not going to talk about those. Okay. okay? But yes, so you can watch that. And then, oh, I started watching The King. I think he was in The King. I'm like trying to watch that. Yeah, I'm trying to find all of his movies. Oh, I know what I went back and watched. And I don't think I told you because I figured it out all by myself. You did? Good job. (laughs) It took me forever, though, because you have to, on Netflix, you have to, if you want to search, you have to. Yep, you have to type it in. All those little, yeah. But I figured it out. Um, don't look up. He's in. Oh, don't look up. Oh, you watched that again. That's the second time I've watched it. Oh, really? That's with Leo DiCaprio and um, what's the girl's name? Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. So I I caught up on as many movies as I could see. He has many more Timothy movies that I can watch. But I am hooked. And he, here's the issue I'm having about watching his movies and like every other TikTok is him. So any free time I have, it's every other one. I can't focus. No, I can't. It's not fo- a possibility when this movie no, exists. No, I can't can think no. about it. The movie going to the movie the third time explained things even better right? for me. And I really got it. And then you kind of know what's going to happen. So you don't have to be stressed out like waiting. Right. Um, I only had one gin gin <laughs> this time. <laughs> the first one I had, had to have two gingers before the movie even started because they get all stressed. Um, so I didn't, you're not as stressed, but then you can really focus on like his speech. Yes. In speech, the end. But you can focus on like details. The clothes. You can focus and- on the clothes, but like I'm talking like lore details. For me, it was specifically with um, Florence Pugh's character, oh, the princess. Yeah. yeah, I missed a lot of the stuff that she was talking about at the beginning, yeah. the first few times I watched it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Just just all of it. And yes, I would see it again. Yeah. If anybody wants to see that movie and you don't have anyone to go with you, I'll go. Maybe we should just like rent out the theater and have like a Dune part two party. Fun. Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah. And then just like be like sci fi smart people and like, <laughs> I, I'm not, but I can look the part, like I can wear this. I could wear like something cool. Yeah. Um, you should get like a really cool like cloak or something. A cloak. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. I think that we need to bring cloaks back into fashion. Um, isn't that kind of like a long duster, like a long duster jacket? But it's jacket? got a big hood. That's oh, the like best a duster part. jacket with a hood. Yeah, yeah, something, something along those lines. But like, it doesn't have sleeves. It's just, you know. Yeah. Personally, if I could dress however I wanted to dress every single day, I would dress like I was going into battle. Really? With like a cloak and like chain mail, and that really? would be so sick. Oh man! Not yeah, me. just imagine you get to walk around and and like look just so cool all the time. I mean, I guess like you're prepared for anything. Yeah, <laughs> or like <laughs> like um like in those like Hunger Games and yeah, and even in Dune where they have like the still suits, like those. Oh, those like, are cool. Yeah, it's almost like tech wear, I guess, but it's more like athletic. And where you would to, you like, even get stuff like that? I don't know. That's the thing. Probably have to order it online. Like, I want to get gym clothes that are like gym clothes. 
Yeah, like if you go to the gym, you can like oh. pretend that like I thought you meant like gym class. What? No, no, like when you go to the gym like to work out. Clothes? Yeah, rather than like you know typical gym attire, just you know strap on the still suit. And wow, work out. I oh. think that would be. Fun. Wouldn't that be kind of like Iron Man? Doesn't he wear kind of a little he outfit like that? Iron Man wears an iron suit because he's. Iron Man. It's not all iron. It's red and yellow and gold. Yeah. But is it really all? And he's got his heart. Yeah, I know that. I love Iron Man. Yeah, he's... I like Robert Downey, too. Yeah. Didn't he just win a... a He did. Oscar. Yeah, Yeah, we were talking about him. Great, percent Great guy has been through so much in his life, Mm -hmm. and what a comeback kid he is. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we weren't going to really, like, talk about... <laughs> but we we get off subject when we want to talk about, like, movies and... Yeah, it's hard not to talk about Right, Dune. and, like, Dune. I just... I'm not kidding you. you. I am the person, like, if I like something like that, someone else who really doesn't think they would get into that could really get into it. And again, it helped me to watch the second movie, then go back and watch the first one. And I'm not the book reader, so I'm not reading those books. I still want you to read the third book so I can find out what happens before the movie's made. Because that that third movie's probably not even going to come out until... Good, so I've got time. Maybe 2026. I've I got don't want to wait read it. that long. I don't want to wait that read long. Read it. No, I can't read it. It gives me a headache. Plus all the words like vibe together into one like big clump and I can't read. I guess I should wear my glasses. You could read it on my Kindle and then you can make the text oh, super big. yeah, you could. I don't know. I'd rather just, well, I got the picture book of you Dune do. too. <laughs> so I yeah. can just look at the pictures. Just, yeah. And then I've been learning a lot from TikToks. Yeah. So, anyway, okay. We've talked enough about Dune too. You guys are probably like, oh, we're so sick of hearing about this. Is this, this a sci-fi channel yeah, that we're right. following now? What is this a movie <laughs> right. review podcast? Right, right. Yeah. No, it it may be in the future if we start yeah. going to I just love going to movies. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So we are gonna play a little game. I think a lot of people know about this and a lot of people do this. Would you rather? I'm going to read some questions. Hannah Banana. Oh, I'm sorry. I called you Hannah Banana. Is that okay? That's fine. That's I'm your store name. I know. That's your store name. I'm used to it. Hannah Banana is going to answer first, and then I'll answer Yay. after you. And you have not seen these questions, have you? Okay. Nope. All right. Okay. Well, they're randomly kind of mixed up, too, so they might not That's make perfect. It. Okay. All right. Would you rather see the ocean out your bedroom window or the mountains? The mountains. Easy. Why? Easy. Because to me, if I can see the mountains out my window, they're far enough away that I don't have to worry about an avalanche. Oh. But if you're next to the ocean, you have to worry about a tsunami (laughs) all the time. (laughs) I'm not prepared for that. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Yeah. So my brain didn't go, oh, so pretty. My brain went, which one am I most likely to die in first? <laughs> wah, wah. But um, can you imagine that I have anxiety? That's crazy. Yeah. That I thought of that first. Wow, that that's you, crazy. You, yeah. <laughs> well, usually that's where my brain goes, um, which it did. Do you have anything else you want to add to that? I've just always wanted to live in the mountains. Yeah, I, I love the idea of the bear eating you alive. And- I mean, <laughs> lock my doors, keep food out of the way, you know, <laughs> live in a cabin. Somewhere. Yeah, live in a cabin, have my own little garden. Yeah. You know, have a big dog that well, could just take care of it. I don't think I would like to live in the mountains, but look yeah, at but them. looking at them out the window. Yeah, that's, that would be mine, that's, too. That like I would peak in life if I had that. Yeah. I, I would love to stay like in a really rich big cabin, like maybe even in Colorado and Aspen. Yeah. Or, I think that would be beautiful. Ocean for me, yes, I would love to see the ocean, um, just to hear it and and see the what would you call it, the vastness or the how large it is. It's scary. But then again, I'm tsunami. Yeah, I think like I've seen the ocean before. I, I was at Santa Monica. Oh, Pier. that's right. You were. Yeah. I, so I've seen the ocean. I haven't been in the ocean because I was on Santa Monica Pier and we left right away. But 
Did you ever get a picture of you on Santa Monica up here? Yeah. I'll put it here if I can. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, it, it was really pretty. We went at sunset. Mm. It was really nice, but uh, it was terrifying. I was getting dizzy just looking at it. Yeah. I was like, what's in there? There's water as far as you can see. That's why like, I could never go on a cruise. Oh, never. No. No, never. Would you rather go on a roller coaster or a cruise? Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's the worst question ever. <laughs> I know, because I know, either one, you're going to get sick. <laughs> Neither of them walking away is what I'm doing. Yeah. I. Oh, my God. If you had to pick. If I had to pick, probably the roller coaster because it ends faster. So, <laughs> But it depends what roller coaster. If it's, if it's the slingshot. No chance uh, oh, in hell. Oh, yeah. No, not that one. No, I no. am going straight towards the cruise. Yeah. Then I think I would do a cruise if it was a, like a river, those river cruises you see in Europe. That's a thing? Oh, my God. You've never seen those? No. Yeah. It's like the, a river cruise. Oh, well. If, and then you if can I'm see in like, land. It's like right there. Oh, if I'm in Europe and I'm on a river on a cruise and yeah, I'm going. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah. But not like out in the middle, straight no. up in the middle of the ocean. No. I well, I watched Titanic seven times when it came to the theaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and not anything against cruises because I'm sure they're wonderful. Yeah. Talk to many people who've been on them and they love them. When you're not a water person, though... I'm yeah. like a yeah, like I'm like a stay on ground. Like I can't even handle airplanes. Type okay, person. well then there was a question oh. that's going to lead right into that. Um, I think it was: Would you rather have wings to fly like a bird, or be able to breathe under the ocean, underwater, like a fish? Are you talking like like can I choose what kind of wings I have? Well, like a bird wings. I look like a bird. Well, I don't know what you look can like. I, you can fly. Or can I like be a part of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series and well, have can, bat wings? Like You like, can make up whatever kind of wings you want. Nobody's going to give you an F here if you answer wrong. Okay, well, if I get to choose, I'm choosing bat wings because then... Like a bat? Yes, because that's the kind that they have in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Spoilers! Oh, that's... Spoilers if you're reading the first creepy. book. Spoilers, but... Creepy. Recent. <clears throat> Okay. Resand. Not even like an eagle, a bald eagle. No. Resand has bat wings and he's like really buff, okay. really attractive. Okay. Most handsome man you've that ever seen. That kind of reminds me of that old um, cartoon show. Miles used to watch Gargoyles. He had these big like. Yeah, he doesn't look quite like a gargoyle. Oh. <laughs> Definitely like 20 bajillion times yeah, more attractive know. than a gargoyle no offense to a gargoyle yeah, i but. don't know what you're talking about but like of course i'm gonna fly in the air with the three of them of course i'm gonna do that okay if so, you've read the books you know okay so you'd rather fly than yeah. be able to breathe under the water yeah yeah because i don't really like going in the water very much yeah that that was kind of an easy one for how both about of you us. Well, obviously, you wings. chose air. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a, yeah. a bird, and I would yeah. love to be a bald eagle. Although I do like going to the lake and like watching all the little fish in the water. Well, yeah, it's fun to watch them yeah. swim, but you don't want to. Yeah, I don't really want to explore the ocean. Yeah, and I want to so. be like a bird that's protected. I don't want to be like a duck during duck hunting season. God, that time I saw that duck get shot. Oh my god, I started crying. <laughs> I was out on my walk, you guys. I came home and I was almost, remember how yeah. distraught I was? It was the first time I ever saw, and again, I am I am not dissing anyone who likes to hunt, okay? If you like to hunt, that's fine. I, on the other hand, I just, no, I felt so bad. I was, oh, look at the pretty ducks, you know, coming flying at me. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> these big cranes were like flying around them, trying to like warn them, you know, alert, alert. And then all of a sudden, you just hear two gunshots, and then you just watch the ducks just, like, falling to the ground slowly. It was, like, the worst scene in a bad movie. I, I, literally, I literally started crying. I was out walking. That, like, ruined my walk. I'm like, it was to be a nice, peaceful Sunday morning early walk. And then I saw that, and I was, that was the first time I ever saw, like, an, a 
bird or animal gets shot. That's sad. Up in the sky. That's yeah, they sad. were just flying, doing their own thing, you know, their business Sunday morning. And then they lost their lives that day. I just, okay, but I know people, you got to eat food. And then we're going to get into this whole thing about chickens and how oh, we eat chicken. And so I'm not. I like just went pescatarian this week. So I'm like. You're yeah. trying not to eat meat. Yeah. Anymore. Trying not to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try to do that. I did that once. Yeah, but you did. I'll cut back. But anyway. Okay. So we, enough of that. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to bring up my duck story again. <laughs> I will repeat myself. I understand hunting is a sport. People enjoy doing it. And I'm just fine with that. It's just not for me. Okay. Would you rather never age or would you n- rather never have to worry about money? Never have to worry about money. Easy. Yeah. Because it would be fine to age. Yeah. You wouldn't want to live forever anyway. No. Yeah. Who would want to live forever? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) That's an easy one. Would you rather be alone or be with someone you moderately liked? Alone. Yeah. Like living? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like maybe in a relationship. Oh, alone. Yeah. Totally. Same. Alone. Totally. Okay. We're just kind (laughs) of. Picking up, picking up the speed here. Um, ooh, would you rather have your phone taken away or your car taken away? Like forever. Um, forever? Yeah. Car. Yeah, me too. Car. Because all of my like relationships are on my phone. Like all of my friendships. Right. Alan, because we're long distance. Like, Plus you could just get someone to pick you up. Right. You can just call an Uber. Or, ha- or hire a driver or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got that one figured out. Oh, I like this one. Would you rather read minds or be invisible? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. What would you rather do? Be invisible. I can already read minds. <laughs> be careful. I can already read minds. Um, I would rather be invisible. Yeah. That, that's like being a fly on the wall. Like you could yeah. sneak around to wherever you want to go. Plus, that would be a lot of chatter. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like reading minds would be kind of cool, but I like sometimes I don't want to know what people think about me. I right. like I'd rather not. Right. You know, I, I can I can I can tell sometimes with people's eyes the way they I don't yeah. know. I, I have that kind of sense. Would you rather live in a mansion or a town home? A mansion. Really? Yeah, because that probably means I've got like a bit of money then, you know. <laughs> And plus a townhome, you you share it with other Other people. people. So you constantly have to worry about like, oh, am I like, you know, causing too much noise or, yeah, oh, it's curfew time, you know. Yeah, I didn't think of all that. I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know about the mansion thing. I'm, I'm, mansion seems too big for me. Too much. If it's like a castle in England, 100%. (laughs) If we're considering that a mansion, that's where I'm living. Okay. Like, in, like a castle in Ireland. Yeah. 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 Well, you'd want to stay there, though. A lot of spirits, I bet, in those. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Hosier. Okay. We can both be there. But there's enough room. Okay. <laughs> Will you invite me and my boyfriend, Timothy? Timothy Chalamet can come <laughs> as well, obviously. Yes. yes obviously. Yes. Okay, good one. Oh, would you rather live where it's always cold or where it's always hot? Cold. Yeah. I already live where it's always cold, so. (laughs) It's not always cold. Uh, Most of the time it is. So cold. Yeah, I could. I I love the cold because you can just like wear cute outfits. You can. You can cover up a little more. I wouldn't want to be hot all the time. Because like if I'm sweating and I'm doing this, I'm not in good mood. Yeah. I do not like this this awful word moist. I do not like this when you're no. sweating and that's the worst. Yeah. Cold, you can just like literally chill. Bundle up. Yeah. Literally chill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking though like 40 below. Like you can't breathe no. in 40 below. Not like Antarctica cold. We're talking like just 20, Minnesota winter cold. Like 20 degrees, 10 degrees. Yeah. Below freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next question. This is a good one. Would you rather win the lotto or always win at love? So I say win the lotto because with my current situation in life, I feel like I'm already winning at love. If it was like 
like if I chose win the lotto and like my love life went, yeah, then I would choose the other one. Okay. So I would always win at love because if you're winning at love, that means that you're putting out good vibration, which brings good stuff back to you. Because what you've put your focus on, what you put out there is what you get back. Yeah. So more than likely, if you're always winning at love, you're always in appreciation, which means you're probably going to have lots of money anyway. Right. Because you're going to win at everything. You're going to be rich. Right. Rich in a lot of ways. Right. But if you're winning at love, you love and appreciate everything. It's all going to come to you. Abundance in every form is going to come to you. Right. So I would definitely win at love. Um. Oh, this is a good one. Would you rather have unlimited shopping for a day or go on an outdoor adventure? That's a hard one for me. What kind of adventure would you want to go on? Right. Well, I would probably want to go to the mountains. If okay. I was like hiking in the mountains and I knew that I would be safe and like camping, like that seems fun to me. More than shopping for the whole day. Yeah, because if I shop for the whole day, then I end up buying a bunch of stuff well, that I don't You're kind of hiking, need. though, when you shop, going up and down steps and stuff. Or they well, escalators. yeah. What do you mean buy a bunch of stuff you don't need? Like, if I had unlimited money, I would probably just end up spending a bunch of it on stuff that I would donate a few years later. <laughs> but if I, like, go to the mountains and, like, pet a goat or something like <laughs> goats yeah mountain goats okay you they're in you, minecraft do you think you get close <laughs> enough to a mountain goat well if it's nice then sure <laughs> okay. but if i was guaranteed that then yeah i'd choose that okay yeah you know what i would choose shopping of course yeah yeah i don't i it's not about need it's just wants yeah totally i have everything i need it's just would be about wants I think I could be happy shopping anywhere, though. I could go to Mills Fleet. Barnes & Noble? I could. Well, now, if I go get Dune merchandise or yeah. Dune stuff, I can be fine at Barnes & Noble. Plus, they have that Starbucks and that that really good cheesecake and good food there. Yeah. So you can get a little snack. What about Target? Could you shop <laughs> for a whole day at Target? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't. No. What's your whole theory on I Target? Get, I Okay, I get dizzy every time I go to Target. I I don't know what it is. I know it's a nice store. Okay, it's pretty, it's clean, they have nice stuff. But I get dizzy. And one day I figured out why I was getting dizzy. Well, first of all, my conspiracy theory is, it's just a conspiracy theory, is that it's kind of like in Vegas. I was told that they like pump extra oxygen through the air at the casino. So you, so stay, you stay awake. awake. And yeah. then you like gamble more, right? I think Target does that. So you stay and you spend more money. I think they pump something through the air <laughs> because I get Somebody dizzy. needs to look into that. I, I get dizzy <laughs> every time I go there. It's either that or because I'm not even halfway through the store and I look into my cart and it's like full to the top of things that I Never thought I would need or put in my cart. Right? Like, why the sudden am I already in, like, the laundry section, like, picking out, like, something from my closet? Well, like, right. you black out when you go right. into Target. But there's so many, like, cute things. Like, okay, don't even take me over to the shoe department because I know I'm going to find, like, a TikTok, like, boot or shoe or something that's viral on TikTok. And then I'm going to want it. And so then I just keep putting things in my cart and in my cart and then we go to the next department and oh my God, and then we go back to the candy department. So it's like, then I you go think, to the makeup department well, the ma too. I mean, just around You're the done. whole store. If you go into the makeup, if you take me into the makeup department, it's over. Right. And so then my cart gets really full and I, I went in there usually to get one or two things. And I think that's why I start to like hyperventilate a little bit. Like I start breathing. Maybe that's what makes me dizzy. Maybe it's not really the whole <laughs> <laughs> blowing oxygen into the extra oxygen <laughs> into the air but i just thought well maybe because why do i get dizzy every time i go to target it's, it's the fluorescent lights the extra no, oxygen like, in the air the spending too much money it's, it's all of it it's because i don't get that when i go to walmart but i think with walmart i'm like in and out 
Yeah. Get my stuff. Put your out. head down, walk in, Just get, get out. your stuff and get out. I don't yeah. like sit and mingle and walk around and browse like around. Whenever we're at Walmart, like people want to do exactly that. They want to like mingle with well, us. Because like I'm no, no, here no. to get some no, vegetables. No. no, because every time you're in an aisle, I swear <laughs> this, this happens to you all. Every single time. And we have to cut our trip short because you start freaking out this happens to your your aunt colleen my sister there will be nobody and maybe this happens to you guys there will be no one in the aisle right let's just say the laundry detergent aisle or something and you're trying to find a good scent maybe you want those beads that are really bad for your washing machine but they're really cute pretty and they make things smell nice and so you're in that aisle and then no one's around you and then all of a sudden like out of nowhere, there's people like bumping into you and they're like all around you. Like, why does that happen? Right. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, why is the gluten free section so packed already? <laughs> What's going on? Right. Like you go. Honestly, you try it. Just see. I don't know. Like it's because we were thinking about it so much that we're attracting it. I like, don't know. Probably it doesn't happen to many other people because they're probably not even thinking about it. But like, I'm always thinking about why are all these people around me all of a sudden? Like, wh- how, why are we all looking for the same thing right now? And then like, it gets like super loud right. all of a sudden. You're like, why is it so loud in here? I w- it was just, I was just peacefully looking at my laundry to t- and now it's like loud. It's like, turn it down. Like what? The music, like everything gets loud. It is. That's so true. It is. It happened to Colleen at, was it Menards or somewhere? She went somewhere and she she can't handle Menards. Sorry, Colleen. (laughs) But it's not her comfort zone there. And she couldn't find, I don't know what she was even looking for. She was like looking for flooring or something like that, I think. I don't know what she was looking for. I don't even remember, but she was like looking up here and then all of a sudden a worker was like (laughs) underneath her. (laughs) Those things always happen. Not even saying excuse me, just like like right there with someone. Like they're the only three people in the store. Oh my gosh. I don't get that. I don't get that. But the whole Target thing, no. If I were going shopping, you know, at like Mall of America, well, you need a long time to go to the Mall of America. That place is massive. Yeah, um, that's what it's known for. Thank you <laughs> for that, Smarty. Okay, on to the next question. <laughs> I think this might be the last one, actually. Well, and this kind of goes with the other ones. Would you rather be rich and unhappy or poor and happy? I've been asked this would you rather quite a bit, and I always choose poor and happy. Yeah. Always. That's like... Like the whole point of life is to be happy. Yeah. Money, you can find ways to make it through life without money. Right. You know? I mean, yeah, to an extent. To an extent. Yes. Right. The, there are resources and, and stuff like that to an extent. But if you're happy, like you'll get through it. Yeah. If you're happy and you're struggling and you have a positive outlook on it, mm-hmm. you'll get through it. Yeah, it'll and, happen. And like it'll work itself. Again, out. it's that positive attitude and putting out that positive right. attitude and and honest to God, what you put your focus on is what you're going to get more of. That's law of attraction. It does not matter if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. If you focus, focus, focus on the bad thing, it's just going to keep handing you right right back. It's going to keep giving it to you. So somehow you have to. Try to be happy. Um, I mean, obviously, you're not going to be happy in sad situations. Right. That's okay to be sad, but to still be grateful and find appreciation for something. Okay. So I think that was it for my questions. Do you have any to add? I had oh, you one, had one. About- I had one Dune one that okay. we can end off on. Okay. Would you rather ride through a sandstorm on a sandworm or in a helicopter? In a dune helicopter. They're very specific. They look like dragonflies. I think I would have to do the helicopter. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm choosing the worm. Yeah, but you got to go through all that sand. Like that time I went to the tractor pole to watch my brother pull. He pulled tractors and I had lip gloss on. I had a really cute outfit on. This is years ago. And I remember my outfit. I had a white t-shirt and it had a hot pink skull on it and had like bling. 
and I had lip gloss on. And when the tractors would come by, all the sand would get stuck to my lip gloss. Would you be wearing lip gloss in Arrakis? Oh, I suppose they wouldn't wear makeup there. So then helicopter. (laughs) Still? (laughs) Yeah. Really? I, I've been on a helicopter, though. Yeah, but it's going straight down if it's got to go through the sand. And then you're going to be in the sand anyway, so. And dead, more than likely. Well, yeah, but you got to get through the, I don't know. No, I don't like that whole sand where, and all that sand coming at it. just. Oh, I think it's cool. You could wear goggles and a really cool, like, headpiece and then your, your suit. Um, and then you can just. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> with the sandworm. Okay. Now you guys are gonna have to watch the movie for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. To see what the heck we're talking about. So that's yeah, literally I'm, me. There he is, right there. That's me. No, that's me now. That's you. That's literally me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hannah. It's you. <laughs> it's you. Okay. I think it's time for my show and tell. Yeah. Remember it's, last week when I brought my dice? Was it last week or was it with the second? Was that second episode? It was our, it was our go-tos. It was our oh, third that's episode. Right. It yeah, was. It, it was, was one of my go-tos. My, right. my D&D dice. Yeah. She brought something for show and tell yeah. and didn't tell the rest of the class. So I didn't yeah. have anything. So this week I have something. But technically I brought it. You, she got it for me. Technically... Okay, you guys. You're show and tell, but I brought it. And I have been asking for this for how long? Like months now. Probably a year. Yeah. You're having withdrawals. Okay, so this is something that you guys, and I am not kidding you, and I'm not getting paid for this either, but this by far, here it is. This by far is the best tasting thing I have ever had in my entire life. Should I show the camera for people you that are You show the camera. If you are familiar with the restaurant Cheesecake Factory, do not drop that. Oh my God, <laughs> I would have to kill you. Um, if you're not familiar, this is from the Cheesecake Factory. Hannah was, we don't have one here in our area. So she was in the, we call it the cities, Minneapolis area. Yeah. Edina and they have one there and so I always ask for this it's called the celebration it used to be called the birthday cake cheesecake yeah. but now it's called the celebration cheesecake um oh my god okay I've got my fork already well, how'd you get your fork already I snuck it okay we're gonna do this together so there's like a whole pile of whipped cream which they put a lot this time they did thank you for that this is like my birthday is in like a weekish. Yeah. This is like a great birthday gift, yeah. by the way. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Um, first of all, we need to appreciate how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. And I think that's why I like it. But it's got all these layers. There's like a blue layer, a cake layer, a cheesecake. There's like frosting or something. And then all this whipped cream. And then, of course, the sprinkles. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting <laughs> a little dizzy. I do have to say. We've, <laughs> we're not in Target. Like, it's okay. What's it? Yeah, right? Okay, so sh- we got to take, you want to take it? Take yeah. a little bit. Okay, I got to get some. Can I get the end? That's the best part. Okay, I just got to get some whipped cream on there. Oh, my gosh. So I swear to God, you guys, if you ever go to the Cheesecake Factory, get this cheesecake. Even if you like chocolate. And if you're not a person who likes sweets, then you probably wouldn't appreciate it. But does anyone else agree that the very tip of the cheesecake slice is the best I part mean, of the cheesecake? Maybe I, cake? I think any part of it is. When it's but, cut into a triangle. Yeah, but okay, so let's eat this up. Well, okay. cheers. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mm-mm. There it is. Just like I remember. <laughs> oh my God. I can't, I can't even, I can't, I can't You're explain. acting like you ate it like 13 it's years ago. It's been like a year, <laughs> it's been like a year ago. Okay, I'm just going to have to have another piece. There's pink in there, there's blue in there. I don't know what that is, because it's not all cheesecake. No, I think it's like birthday cake. There's cake. Like funfetti cake. <laughs> mm. And then icing, and then cheesecake. Mm. Mm-mm. Very good. Oh, my God. It's like, I don't know if it's like Neapolitan. I don't know. I don't know. But it's like the best thing I've ever tasted. There's no there's no other food that's even come close to this. It's like very light and airy. You know how cheesecakes are always very like thick and heavy. Oh, my God. I can't even 
eat this like, is a not of this thing. No, I could eat this whole thing myself. Like, we're like almost halfway. Well, I mean, we're sharing it. I could eat the whole <laughs> thing myself. Mostly, it's the whipped cream I like. I'm gonna have one more bite. Okay, me too. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put it away for now. That was my show and tell. Wish I could give you some through the camera. Not really, but. You're just going to have to go to Cheesecake Factory. Go to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, I'm not kidding you. You would love it. I have my little cooler here because it's got to stay cold. Cheesecake Factory, please sponsor us. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely. I love I don't that think restaurant. I've ever said one bad thing about Cheesecake there, Factory. And their menu is like a book. It is. And then the decor there, like you feel like you're in another country or yeah. something. It's so cool there. It's like. I know. I have not had a bad experience at a Cheesecake Factory yet. I haven't either. But I granted, think, I've been there like four times. But like, right? I don't even know what I get to eat there because I'm so excited about getting the celebration <laughs> cheesecake. So probably I would like anything. But their I pasta usually, is really good. Yeah, their pasta is good. I don't know what else I've had there before. I usually like burgers. But anyway, so that was my show and tell. Should we end with our favorites of the yeah. week? Is that going to be one of your favorites? That's absolutely one of my favorites. Yep. I love that. You go ahead. I'm going to take a sip. Okay. Well, I think one is this sweatshirt. I've been wearing this sweatshirt like (laughs) almost every day. Yeah. Uh, Since you got it. So almost the whole week. Yeah. Probably needs to be washed, but I don't wear it like all day. I just wear it when I relax at home. Yeah. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Very good sweatshirt. Culture Canes. That's where I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Never ordered anything else from there, but I found this on my For You page. Yeah. In the cart, it was done in two minutes. Yeah. It's so, very cool. What yeah. else? I'm going to say um, this all-you-can-eat sushi place in Edina that I went to today. Mm. Uh, it's called Ichiban Sushi. Mm-hmm. Very good. It's $25 for all-you-can-eat for their lunch. And that seems like a lot, but it is so worth it. So worth it. I've been there two times now. Everything is super high quality. So today, for $25, I got six pieces of gyoza, which is like a dumpling, miso soup. Mm -hmm. I got salmon hibachi. So you get a full filet like this big, if you're watching, of salmon on a plate of fried vegetables with fried rice on the side. Wow. Got those three. And then I got avocado rolls, sweet potato rolls, and shrimp tempura rolls. And then I got three pieces of mochi ice cream. Wow. All for $25. I devoured every single piece of it. I can't yet. Didn't have breakfast and not going to eat supper because it filled me up for the day. $25. That's a steal. Yeah. You love that kind of food. And it's really cute there, too. And everything is handmade. I talked to the waitress the last time that I went because we went at night Mm -hmm. um, and they have like an extended menu at night Mm -hmm. and they have a pastry chef that comes in in the afternoon and hand makes all of their desserts that they have. Oh, cool. And their desserts are to die for. Not like the Cheesecake Factory, though. No, <laughs> but but in a different way. They're different. T- they're, it's not like cheesecake. It's like different right. types of right of like Japanese dessert. So good. And then like their hibachi is so good. I've had their steak hibachi before. That was really good. Just like so much fun too. Good. The atmosphere is like super nice too. Good. So. It's good when you can find places like that. that yeah. You like because then you feel like you're getting your money's worth. Right. So Ichiban Sushi in Edina. Cool. For me, okay, my (laughs) t-shirt. Seeing Dune Part 2 was amazing again for the third time. Something that actually just happened. uh, My my mom came in to the store and she brought me some baked goods and some homemade jam. And I asked her to stay and take a picture because I had these new um, crossbody cute handbags in. And I wanted... To take, I didn't want to just take a picture of them. I wanted someone to be holding them. I thought, oh, I'll take a picture of mother. And, um, and it was, I am not kidding you. I, it took like 10 minutes to get the picture because I was laughing so hard. We were both laughing so hard because when she stood there, she's like, should I stand like a rack? 
And she just was frozen. I said, Mother, you look like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Like, loosen up. So she kind of started doing this or something. She looked up and she started singing Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Which I'm like, what? That's what loosen up means to her. And it made me laugh that every time I looked at her, I all, seriously almost peed my pants. Like I was laughing so hard. It was, it was so, it was so funny. And it was early in the morning. It was just what we both needed. And so that was special. That, that was fun to me. And then a customer gave me flowers and oh, yeah. that was really meant a lot to me. Yeah. Was, she's a special older lady who comes in and she, she was just being very kind to me. And, yeah. and that meant a lot to me. Um, so I appreciated that. So yeah, it was it was a good good week. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do the card shuffle, you guys, and pick out a positive message. Hopefully, uh oh, did one fall out? That's the <laughs> one we have to take. I like it too. And you're looking at it. I am. <laughs> so when when I shuffle cards and one like falls out, and this one just like fell out when I was shuffling, that means that's the card. That's your message. So this is the message for you for the week, for the day. Too glam to give a damn. (laughs) Dang. (laughs) Too glam to give a damn. (laughs) That's awesome. Okay. So yeah, a little bit of attitude that kind of fits. Because I said in the beginning, we were kind of in a mood. Yeah. So yeah, just be yourself. Again, just be yourself. Take that confidence. That's what I take from that. Be confident yeah. in who you are. Yeah. Be too glam to give a damn. Yeah. Do it. Dang. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Well, this was fun, Hannah Banana. Yeah. A good time with this one. Thank you guys for watching and listening. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. If you're watching us on YouTube, you can listen to us on Spotify. And if you're listening on Spotify, you can watch us on YouTube. <laughs> All that good stuff. We're you gonna, know what it is. We're going to get more and more comfortable doing oh, this. Yeah. That's might yeah. not be a watch good thing. Watch out. <laughs> Definitely watch out. All right. Well, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you again next week. Yes, Bye. Bye. <laughs>